My research is about astrocytes. So in the brain, everybody talks about neurons and neurons do this and neurons do that. But astrocytes are a type of cell that are called glial cells, which literally means glue. But these cells actually do a lot of functions, not only helping neurons, but also some functions for information processing and things like that. In my project, what we do is to label the, the cells in a circuit specific manner. So that means we want to inject in some place and the dye has to travel to an, another place. And only when like two different things we injected meet, there's the fluorescence. And we were trying to label, to see the astrocytes in a circuit specific way. What we're trying to find out is what the activity of the astrocyte means. Because we can see in the calcium ions how there are some activity patterns, but we don't understand what they're doing. We are using a confocal microscopy and these dyes are fluorescent. So basically we, in the microscope, you shine light at the sample and this is what you receive. This is for me very fascinating. We're having a background in physics. Uh, seeing these things is just mind blowing because you don't expect to see such beautiful patterns, the, the organization. It's like you don't expect to see how defined things are in a way. It also looks like kind of like a sci-fi machine. <laughs> the one thing that we must be careful is that we don't have many color options for fluorescent dyes. So you have like always like four, four dyes and you have to be very careful like what colors goes where because you also want to see when some of these structures overlap and the resulting colors are also something that you'll see. So it's kind of, you have to think about <laughs> which color goes where. Okay. There's an art to this definitely. <laughs> As the most complex machine that we know about, it is just fascinating to me the fact that it is so easy to perceive its organization.